homeowners at the upmarket Green Park Estate in Arthur River will know if their houses will be demolished or not on the 11th of October. Now, Justice Oscar Angote, sitting in Machakos High Court, said he will deliver the judgment of a case between Warma and the developer, Superior Homes, on whether some of the houses sit on riparian land or not. Take a listen. It's been a back and forth in court for some of the owners at the upmarket Green Park Estate in Earth River. And today lawyers representing both the developer of the estate, Superior Homes, and the regulator, Water Resource Management Authority, gave their final submission to the court. There is no certificate of whatever nature that is ever, ever required from the respondent for any construction project to take place. All that is required in law is a properly detailed report which has been obtained through consultation with the affected party. In accordance with DW2, DW1's evidence, the repairing ought to be measured from the point where the water touches the land. And therefore it is my submission that uh, the respondent's uh, action was not illogical in view of uh, a letter dated 21st May 2018 and written to Superior Homes from Warma says that houses built on riparian land should be removed and restoration of the riparian land to its original state done. The court case was triggered by events of March last year when heavy rains dealt a blow to some homeowners there. Most of the houses were flooded after the stony earthy river burst its banks. Warma gave a 21-day notice to 10 homeowners at Green Park Estate to vacate the premises before demolition on the basis that their houses were built on riparian land along the riverbed. But Superior Homes Limited, the developers of the estate, sought the court's intervention to stop the demolition on grounds that the notice was irregular and illegal. The basis of which any action can be. Philip Nyachoti, Superior Homes argued it carried out its own survey on the property before building the houses and the estate was not within the river belt. But the residents whose property and houses were damaged by flood water blamed Nema for their woes. They claimed they were duped by the developer who sold them the houses. The development sits on 10,000 acres formerly owned by the East African Portland Cement Company.